From time to time, people call me to do deals with me. So today, we're going to look at some land to see if I wanna partner up with this gentleman to actually build a new house. What up, Roundup family? It's your boy Hasco with the realestateroundup.com. My mission and ministry is to raise your financial literacy through real estate investing and entrepreneurship. Thanks for your time, my brother, Pure Platinum. Pleasure is always mine. Yes, sir. So today we're going to look at some land. Guy calls me yesterday, says, Chris, I got some land under contract. I've never built a house, but I know you've been building houses forever, and I wanted to see if you wanted to do a deal together. So let's see what he's talking about. I have no idea. So we're going to pull up and look at this land together. I don't have time to teach at you. I have to teach with you because I, don't, I just don't have the time to do that. So we'll bring you in show you exactly what the land looks like and what his ideas are and but the main thing i'm looking at today is the surrounding neighborhood i don't want to mess with it if the surrounding neighborhood is, is old and busted i'm looking for sexy neighborhoods land so roundup as you can see i'm not liking what i'm seeing here we got multi-families which is not super bad but i do like the fact that i have some new construction going up here so this is giving me an arrow up so as we're pulling up, we've got arrows up and arrows down. Multifamily, new cons. Here's the thing, what I've learned, some people, and some more multifamilies, I don't know why it is. Let me ask you, Terrence. Uh -huh. I just felt like in life, there's just some people that can do certain things that everybody else can't do. I think, we, I, I think we all have certain gifts. Yeah. Yeah, we all have certain gifts. I'm just like, I just don't know. The average mode might not be able to Take a house and flip it the way you flip it. You never know. There he is right there. Can I pull? Where I park at, G? I parked in that in that parking lot over there, man. But you probably just park right up here. He over the recorder. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll tell him we get there. I'm, I've done this with him several times. Oh, okay. He's been on my channel. Yeah. Neighborhood not super great, not bad either, but. I believe Greg is right. He called me. He said you might be able to get 300 over here. Maybe. I don't know yet, but let's take a look and see what's going on. So we got some more new cons here. I like the distance between the houses. Man, that's nice. Holy cow. They fixing it up. Yeah, they looks like. It's going crazy around here. But this is Shell Road. Let's what are that. you What are you saying let's about get that. that? Let's get this. So, Shell Road. Um, Shell Road has a reputation for, for high crime. High crime. Um, yeah, high crime. Shell Reezy. High crime. <coughs> yes, sir. Meaning homicide, one homicide, seven. robberies, burglaries, Dang. crack epidemic. Um, um, but they, over the years, they have been trying to fix it up, you know. But it's still, it's still in there. Uh, it's one of the top. Crime, high crime areas in Hampton. Yeah. That's the thing. For some reason. Anyway, man. So we'll see the street here. Looks this, good. this looks good, though. I ain't really mad at it. We'll see if I can fit in here where he's at. I don't want to sink. So we always have an apron here. That we're, we're driving is it's called an apron. So we do not have to pull another one of those. It's already there. We'll have to just... You know what? We still might have to now that I think about it. So what's the apron for? Apron is what attaches... Oh, shoot. The apron attaches the driveway to the city's right of way or the street. Gotcha. Let's do this. So this is it, man. Give cool. me the backstory. Well, basically, it was a friend of mine who was going through a situation. That's cool, bro. And um, and uh, long story short, man, he was like, I need help. And then I came over here, talked to the bank. He's in no foreclosure, anything of that state, no foreclosure state. But evidently, he was uh, on the list for a tear down for codes and appliances. Yeah. So then I had a partner that was gonna do short set when I called you. And then he was like, great, where the house at? I don't see no house. And then they demoed it. So we called and found out reasons. <laughs> crazy, man. So, uh, <laughs> crazy. Oh my God, was I rolled under the street. Like, yeah, I'm in, I'm blah, see the house. Time. Yeah, he's like, where the house at? I'm like, bro, it's what right house? there, you can't miss it. <laughs> no house. No, so this is what we have here. Unbelievable. It's buildable. Um, as far as the other stuff, I'm kind of at your mercy because I'm, I'm I want to learn the new construction piece, and uh, I think this is a great starter based upon just the, the overall area. Well, two things we're gonna need to find out, or we'll get the city out here to find out about the water. 
Of the sewer taps. Okay. You don't want to get smacked with that, man. With those tap fees. Okay. Usually we can tap right into them, G, but. Okay. Sometimes you can't. Sometimes it's, uh, sometimes they're bad. So let me pull it up. Let me pull it up. Okay. Okay, cool. You, you can just tap right in there and call it a day. Right. Well, you asked my boy DeLawrence. I've seen them have to spend thousands of dollars. Because they go bad. So nothing's there. Might not even have a daggone tap. But hold up, it's gotta have one here. Yeah, There's no yoke here. So go ahead, G, I'm listening. Okay. There's so, there is a tap. We don't know if it's good or not. Okay. So we gotta find out about the taps. Then come out here and put a pressure test on it. What I recommend today. Okay. You gotta know this stuff, man, going in, dog. Okay. Call and get a pressure test on this damn line. Okay. Cause um you don't even gotta tell them just say, hey, I need to get butted up. Oh hell, no house here. Find out that you don't, you don't want to come in here and then have to put a new tap. And I'm not saying that uh, this deal will still be good. Like, yeah. But you got to know what you're walking into. Okay. 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 And then the next thing for the sewer line, can you verify that there is, uh, are you familiar with public works? I'm familiar with public works. Yeah, just give him a call. When I was doing it, McCord Newsom was the guy. I don't know if he's still there. But okay. They'll come out here. Three, matter of fact, you just go to 311. They'll come and do it. Test and tell you where the where the sewer line is. You got it, man. You got to find this stuff. Okay, so just so go to three one one and uh three one one sewer line. Okay, could you locate the sewer line for me? Okay, because I don't know where the hell it is. I mean, so can that take care of the uh, the water too? No, that's gonna be Newport News Public. Okay. Newport News Water Works. Okay, gotta have that water too. Damn, they might not even be able to do it. Water. Well, we'll see. Okay, so water works. I'm sure. Here's the thing, G. I like to think positive on this stuff, but. Yeah. Best to be, it's best to, to be realistic as well, because if things happen, man, it's real, it's real numbers. Last time I did one, the sewer line was so deep, eight thousand. This photo it looks like it comes right out here. They already marked it for some. Oh, you know what? Probably marked it when they tore it down. Here we go. Damn. See how the hell is the water meter there with the water line covered in here? Okay, looks like it comes here, and we got it coming right here. Yeah. You never know what's going on. Right, you never know too. I've had it where they mark, do it. Anyway, I've had it where they mark it G and it's not even there. Right, I, believe me, I, I went through the same situation. We, we trenched it, we had a trench, we trenched the whole cut thing. It. And now, yep. Yeah. Not it, yeah. And we like this much off, we're like a foot off from that. Yeah, so it's, all right, I'm very familiar. Yeah, so. No, I don't want to repeat that. All right, so we got two things. Water line, sewer line. Is that my boy? Yeah, that's it. What up, man? Hello, man? Hey, is that you? Yeah. How you been? Out here enjoying his mother, huh? Baby. Okay, I know the guy. But I, I didn't know he was doing anything. We shall see. We're trying to verify the water and sewer line, you know? Huh? Try to ver we got to verify the water and sewer line. Okay. I didn't know you was right. You right here? I saw that Mercedes. I said, that's got to be big money right there. I ain't no small chain, bitch. <laughs> I, I saw the guy still on the property. He don't own it no more. Well, we're here trying to put it together now. Yeah, we're trying to make it work, man. How you doing, sir? <laughs> you lost the wing over there. I ain't lost the wing over there. Oh, you know what? I don't use the seat with uh, coat yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still about the same thing. <laughs> Good to see you, yeah. bro. Nice to meet you, man. OK. Do you want to start with that? You should be able to get that done in a day. Yeah. Let me get that water test, see if the uh, water test and they might have, I don't know, they might have just disconnected the whole thing. You don't, you don't know, man. Just yeah. say, we, can we get a pressure test on the meter? Okay. And just be quiet. Yeah. And then let them do what they do. And do what they do. They might not even charge you to do it. Okay. So you get okay, pressure test and that's water works. Water works. And then you need to locate the existing sewer line because we, they no doubt they already cut it. Looks like you came in right here. Rock, if you can get there right here. See the you can't tear a house down without the water without public works coming to mark all the lines. So this is gonna be the sewer line going into the property. So they'll come and tell you we need to know how deep is this line? How deep is it? Last one I did was eight thousand because it was so deep. Yeah. Killed me, man. Killed me. 
Yeah. It's a nice, what do you think? Brock's nice looking land, I like bro. It. I like it. There's a lot of space in back there, too. Nice. Yeah. How big is it? The lot itself? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure that, uh, if it's 50 by 50. 150, I mean, it's definitely buildable. I'm not sure the exact dimension. All right, so here we are. Here's the land here. Here's the lot line. Uh, looks like it's a uh, nice size. I'm not mad at the size here. Let's see if we can get the details. Matt, why is that coming up? It's right there. This thing is acting funny. Okay, here's our land. Move that there. So what I want you to pay close attention to is this dotted line right here. A lot of times, the city will make you delete. Where did it go? Let's see the dimensions real quick. The detail. So this is a 60 by 200. The frontage is 60, and it's 200 feet deep. Okay. So that's a nice size lot there. I see this little dotted line here. The city will make you delete these. I show you. So let's go to some other new construction. In the, in the past, I've had to delete those lot lines. I don't know why they make you do that, but let's look up here. So here's some more new constructions. You see, they don't have the lot lines there. There's no lot lines here. No lot. This is just one lot. So if you come back down, you'll see here on the one right here. See the little lot line, the dotted line. So sometimes, in my experience. The city will make you subdivide. They call it a, a real subdivision, which is another thousand dollars just to leave in this line. So the cost can really go up a lot very quickly when you're doing these new constructions. All right. So the, the, the dimensions, it's like we got 518. I don't know what that is. Perimeter. Area is a little under a third acre. B geometry details. I don't know what that means either. So yeah, it looks like uh, so far. Uh, I mean, I'm on board. It looks good to me. It's transferred, no building data. Yeah. So this has looked pretty good. Roundup. Uh, I'd like to continue looking at looking into this one. Like I said, man. I um, this was just a a hail mary. I was like, man, to put my offer in, and the seller he was like, I want to go with you because because I brought in a solution. He was like, because once he hit the market, they had multiple offers instantly. Like. Okay. Going up to crazy, yeah, crazy amounts. Yeah, right. So, <laughs> right. So, what's your plan with me, G? What do you? Want? I mean, kind of like. Tell me what. How do I fit into your, into your world? So basically, man, I mean, you have the experience. I'm bringing the deal. I can bring I'm, the deal. I'm bringing the deal, and um, I'm just trying to figure out for you what I can contribute because I want to learn. Money. We all need money. Right. You want, well, it it's all. It all boils down to. It all boils down to the money. So basically, what do you have in mind? Well, how do I fit in though? What, what, you want so, me to bring experience? I mean, all right. So say for example, what? we have an um. Okay, so of course, for the uh, new construction, would I already got plans? So you gotta pick them up. Got plans, which is like so much easier. Once you if you deal with somebody that's already, it makes your shit it's so plug much easier. It's plug and play. So yeah. that's kind of where I'm at with it, man. I'm really trying to uh, like I found the deal, and um. As far as equity and deal, I can either just either wholesale it and you just do your own so you thing. Ought to. Or it's but like I said, I wanna learn, like I said, I'm just I'm trying to learn the process from A to Z so I can know what to actually do to really do these moving forward because I'm looking to do this, man. So Okay. Um I don't know, so it'll it'll You open then. I'm open. I'm really open. I'm really old. 45, and you say the ARV is, what are you thinking? I know they're they're big though. Yeah, they're big. What are they, like 2,800? 2,800 square foot thing. They're like I think two ninety nine, three hundred thousand ARB. They ain't cheap to build, dude. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm saying. They ain't cheap to build. So, they, so building, I mean, I would assume it would be like what, one hundred and fifty to build plus one fifty plus. Mm-hmm. One sixty, one seventy. Yeah. But it ain't, it, ain't, it ain't the end of the world. Yeah. I mean, I already know what house I put here. I already know. And we sell them for three hundred. It wouldn't be. I don't want to do a lot of thinking, man. I'm like, man, just do the same jump we were doing. Just throw it there. And let's just exactly. move to the next one. So it, exactly. All of this rearrange it. It works every time. Yeah. So that's kind of what I'm looking um, okay. to do, man. Just kind of in, get involved to whatever capacity past the wholesale point. Right. Sounds good. That's fair. You good guys. Yeah, I love your spirit and your heart and your. Yes, I mean, your your intent is always positive. Thank you, man. Okay. Cool. That's it.
Let me go, um, you do that, and then I'll run some numbers on my size of the land. We do need to get a survey, though. Usually what happens is I'll buy the survey, man. You want to split it, we can do that. That's what I was thinking, so it did to the ENV. So you already did that? No, I didn't do it because I just got it approved yesterday. yesterday, well, yesterday. Yeah. So I think it's two days to do that. So you wait, how much is it? Like just half a hundred bucks a thing. All right. So what are you thinking with that? So I'm, I'm thinking we're just going to go half. You want to do that too? Yeah. All right, let me just run my numbers. Give me an hour. If the so. numbers make sense, when it comes to the numbers part, we can just, I'm going to think we can go half. Okay. And then we'll work out the back end as far as the down payments right. and all that kind of stuff is needed. Have that half up front. Okay. And then um, from that point, we work out whatever split to whatever. Because I'm going to end up just crowdfunding, using, leveraging another person's money for it anyway. So I'll give them a percent of their money back. Okay. And then. Um, what do you mean? You talking about private money or you. Private, I don't yeah. want to give. Oh no, me. Away. oh no 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 it's gonna be on my end though as far as you. so say for example if if everything comes up to 20 grand and it's 10 grand a piece i have the funds for the 10 grand okay and you're talking about just moving money not to finance the whole project oh no 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 i'm talking about just uh, you could well you're gonna we're gonna go through whoever you want for the funding and all that kind of good stuff yeah, it's gonna be over 200 to do the deal i mean if the land's 45 the house is 170. what's that 89 nine, two. we're gonna be it for 210 210. Mm-hmm. And then, um, shit, drawing by itself is, I mean, not drawing for the house, but dude, this drawing is gonna be 5,000 for your survey, site plan. You got to, uh, uh, they have to put the house on the land. You got to turn this stuff into the city. They got to produce something called mylar. So, I mean, it just right. costs hella money. Right. So, I mean, they're gonna come, come out and block it off. It's, do all put the little, nice. put, yeah, put all the little felt and all the solar dust and stuff, yeah. All that. Man. So, um, so, um, what is it called? Silt fence. Silt fence, yeah. But then before you dig, they got to put, I mean, anyway, it's, it's, it's just a lot. But yeah. it ain't like it ain't, I mean, it's just, it's just, still, it's just, just part of done. the process. Yeah. yeah, it's just part of the process. So, 210, G, what do you think? You want to talk about that now or what? Because I know, I, I already know it's going to cost me once. The house I'm thinking is a four, two, my fact is a five, two and a half with a two car garage. Yeah. I mean, I sold it for 300. Yeah. Honestly, like, so that's, it's a four. Two and a half, but it's got one of those rooms where you walk in on a right. That's a bonus room that could be a bedroom. Even and if I could do that. something like to a point where, like, um, I get my say an equity part part on the back end, or maybe if I can do a whole. Like we got to put up the money. You want what? What type of financing are you thinking? You want me to finance the whole thing, or what? You, what yeah. You have uh, yeah. And then I'll basically give you. You just set the terms to whatever. Like, oh, I'm basically giving. Here's the deal. Gotcha. And then I'm basically just saying, like, as far as whatever equity I can get in it, gotcha. on, like, if I can get a small fee at the front, a couple grand up front, okay. just to hold me over, and then on the back end, work something out. Gotcha. I'm cool. All right. Sounds good, man. Say no more. Then put it together. Perfect. Hey, let's uh, Thank you for thinking about me, Greg. Oh, I, I really appreciate it. So what I do is, man, um, I mean, hour or so or two, so I can just... That's but, perfect. Yeah, that's, yeah, so that's the cut. I think the end has to be taken care of tomorrow. All right, so, that's no Yeah, so we'll, um, so we'll, you know, work that out. We'll, we'll touch base in a couple hours. I got to go to, to a point anyway in Chesapeake. Okay. So a little later in the afternoon, the first thing in the morning, you know, tap in and Sounds get good. some details taken care of. Okay. Thank you. Rob. Pleasure, sir. Yeah, yes, have sir. a great day, man. Yes, sir. Have a good one. Thank you. All right. Huh? What are you talking about? Right here, man. I ain't want to park there. I want to see the park there. Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. Yes, sir. So I really do like Greg. Really young guy young brother just quit the shipyard trying to hustle trying to um run his business trying to make it yep yeah man i really really admire him <clears throat> and round up if you want to hear more about greg i'll go ahead and put his video matter of fact i interviewed him i interviewed him last year put the link yeah put the link in the video description i don't like this it's nasty <laughs> well people paying that this, these people paid three hundred something thousand to live here crazy and that red one over there it's in the middle of nowhere so man, this is crazy me i, I wouldn't i wouldn't show road huh? show road baby yeah, no doubt i wouldn't want to live here but at the end of the day man i just let the numbers take us where we gotta go yeah numbers take us. with that round up subscribe to my channel please take a minute hit the thumbs up and what i really want to know is what are you doing your business what would you do with that land and further Hit the bell roundup. I want if you hit the bell, then you're gonna see as this deal progresses whether I decided to do it, not gonna do it, how we put it together, what house we used, how do we finance it, what are we gonna do with Greg, <clears throat> the plans, how do they look? So if you hit the bell, then you know you'll be you'll be notified when each one of those videos comes out. 
All right, this is Chris Haskins with the realestateroundup.com. Thanks, my boy, Rock. Peace.